So roguelike this, roguelike that, all the channel has a bunch of roguelike stuff, but today we are going to do something different, because The Witch's Cauldron is a narrative based roguelike game, where we are going to be medieval witches and trying to have different people, you know, curses, love affairs, some love and all the nice potions. The game came out today, I am really really excited about it, so without further ado, Let's see how the Witch's Cauldron plays, so a new game, and you know, some hand scratching and uh, all the good things. Wow. Okay, day one. Ooh. Pretty, ooh, pretty interesting looking cat. Here's our new home. I like that everything's in order before visitors start coming. Open the book, select the strength potion, and put the required ingredients into it. Cauldron. Okay, ooh. So we are looking pretty okay. Some wrinkles here and there. A huge hat. I really like this. And the cauldron is bigger than both of us. So that's a good sign. And the book. This is your magic book. Take your time to browse all of its sections. Then click on the potion to highlight the required ingredients. Close the book. Click outside of it. You can also toggle the book with space and flip the pages with A or D. So, love potion, the nice, you know, highlighting, potion of strength, healing, and hexing potion. We need the potion of strength. Might over matter, warning, may cause addiction. So, we need the portabella, the rat's tail, and the wild root. So, let's, uh, you know, click on it, and it's getting highlighted. So, wild root, in the cauldron, portabella, in the rat's tail. Ooh, really nice effects. And potion of strength, we can give away or try again. So try again, I guess, when you mix the wrong ingredients together. You can try it again, but give away is uh, something that we would like to do. Will the cat deliver it? No, someone is coming. Hello, neighbor. Guess what? I finally find myself a perfect husband. Problem is, he doesn't want to leave his wife. Care to help? Doesn't appreciate him anyway. Ooh. Oh, wow, so a really tricky situation, just right at the start. She wants to love another man, uh, but uh, he has a wife. Uh, whether you do right or wrong, it will affect the dread, and this person will give you money for your help. Hmm. So can I, can I just say that uh, bugger off? Looking, oh, so these are just uh, the infos. This is the dread. Ooh, the measure of people's dread. Oh boy. And the measure of your fame. So, isn't there a way, like, just, you know, go away? Seems like no. So, love potion. Let's see. Uh, love potion. Uh, oh, wait a second. I'd have to read it. Love in a bottle open with a screw. Snake fang, nightshade, and toadstool. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Nightshade. Okay. And also some also. And we got love potions to give away. Ooh. I really like the papery animation. The spin was really fancy. Word balance has changed. Scales at the bottom of the screen measure your fame and the people's dread. They should not reach either of the ends. Lest something terrible will happen. Okay, so. We are going to try to balance between helping the poor souls, but not trying to, you know, max out the dread or reach the end of the line of the dread or the fame, because otherwise I'm pretty sure we are going on stakes or, you know, getting crucified or burned or all the good stuff that they've done to witches back in the old days. Let's hope this town will treat us better than the last one. Oh boy. And we won't cross anybody. Maybe a cup of tea to get us going. Mix nettle leaves and nightshade, then add some portobello shrooms for the aroma. So, nettle leaves. Yep. And some nightshade. I think it was that one. Yep. And portobello was the funny looking shrooms with eyes. Great. And green tea. Mm, nice one. Give away. Each potion consists of three different ingredients. You can try any combination and see the results. Failed combinations are also recorded in your book. So, 
bad combinations means that we are going to discover something that is not already in the book or you know we have a different like tab of failed combinations we will see rumors say a witch moved into the old hut on the edge of the forest people are wondering how long she's going to stay and if she will share the fate of the previous ones oh boy sunrise day two okay <laughs> and we are just you know emerging from the huge hat that's really awesome Look there, I'm too old and no match for the young lads in the mine. Don't want them to take me for a weakling, got any of that liquid strength? This is going to increase our fame and also getting some money and, you know, helping the poor lad. And look at this, guy has a huge candle on top of the mining hat. Really great. I really, really like the atmosphere of the game. So the character models are not especially looking nice. But they look great, and also they give you this like kind of chilling effect, but also cute. So I'm not sure is there a specific, you know, like characteristic or artistic something, but I just really love it. The cat is my favorite. Oh, and it is doing something if you hover over. Awesome. Okay, so strength potion, we already made it, but I wasn't able to, uh, you know, memorize. Let's go and give some, you know, like, role-playing game element into the game. Okay, theory, we are going to make you some potions. So I need my wild root and uh, what was that? The portobello and hmm, some rat tails. And you're pretty happy that you will have some strength, my friend. Here we go. Or something like that, because, you know, it's all about the feelings. Okay, I want to put my horse on a race. Got one really strong competitor though. I wanna weaken his horse. As a reward, I would give you my grandma's special recipe. She was a real beauty. She was. Hmm. It's going to increase the dread or affect the dread. But we are going to have the you know like secret recipe and as a witch, whatever or what else would you like to have more than a secret recipe? Am I right? So let's see. Xing potion inflicts misfortune, weakens health. Did you just spill it on yourself? It rhymed. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh wait a second. Forgot to read. Snake Fang, Bing Bat, and Mandrake. Ooh, the Mandrake is really brutal. Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay. So, uh huh. So you wanna weaken your enemy's horse? Hmm, really cunning one, but. For the recipe, I would do it for you, my dearie. Gladly, so. Hmm, a bit of a snake fang, a mandrake root, and some bat wings. Hmm, I misplaced it. Now we have the Xing potion. Here we go. What about the recipe? <laughs> why, why do we have Princess Leia in the game? <laughs> Look at this. Help me, old witch. You are my last hope now. Uh, that bitch stole my husband using black magic. He never even noticed her before. Give him back. I know it's your fault. My fault? Oh. That was... Uh-huh. Okay, um... Well... I mean, <laughs> you know, tipping the scales, whoever, you know, knocks on my door, I guess. So, uh... Love potion again, I guess. Sometimes you have to guess. Aha, okay, so, um, well, you know, uh, life is pretty tough theory, so here's a love potion. Hopefully, your husband comes back, I guess. <laughs> and the cat is just, you know, sitting there without any emotion, eating some bat wings or whatever. I love it. Okay. Tired Miner came in with the tanks. I found the strongest rock and cracked it open like a drag shell. Do you know why? Get the crystal deposit. I was rewarded with a geode and exchanged it with the Lake Sorceress for rejuvenating recipe. Yes! It needs a uh, pottage root and a stinging herb. Please remember. Uh, are we going to remember? Pottage root, stinging herb, or should I make notes? You know, for this one, I'm not making notes, so maybe we are going to have some laughs. But when I play, uh, you know, when I'm not recording, definitely going to make some notes. 
The owner of the winning horse stumbled into your hut early in the morning, overflowing with drink and gratitude. You could barely shake the promised recipe out of him, as told in his own words. And match that cup to um nettle the cocktion, then oh my god, the head is killing me. I am I am I am gonna pee. Um Cause for celebration. A recently broken family reunited again. Hmm. Wonder who helped. I mean, wonder who caused the uh, the breakup, uh, you know, by default, and then who helped with the reunion. People are somewhat confused, but happy for them. You have a feeling you won't see the end of it yet. Oh man, so they are going to come back. I want him. No, I want him back. So love pushing, love pushing, love pushing, and you know, many gold and uh, hopefully uh, same amount of dread and fame. <laughs> so you're not getting burned. Okay. Uh, wishing you good health. Which my livestock fell ill. Got any remedies? So definitely increasing the fame. Uh, like the dude, like the hat, or, or sorry, the hair. Pitchfork is. Uh, pretty asymmetric cool idea so what do we have healing potion cures all maybe even the broken heart oh but the livestock doesn't have broken heart they just kind of I don't know fell ill so we need a nettle leaf a rat's tail and the wild roots so clicking on the healing potion hmm heal white stock is never a good sign and never a good omen so let's you know get ahead of it and uh, just give this healing elixir to your livestock and uh, they will get back in good shape in no time, my friend. Your love potion got weak fast. He stayed with me for a couple of days and returned under his wife's skirt. It was so wonderful. Brew me some more. Um. <laughs> damn it. Sure. <laughs> if you say... Well, wait a second. So if I give... Okay. Okay, wait, wait. So, so theoretically... If I give her a different potion, will she scrum? And uh, will I have like, you know, a few um, uh, spare moments? You, you know what? Hexing elixir. Screw you, my dear. Batwing. Oh, yes, yes. This is a different love potion. It looks different, but it's going to be much stronger. <laughs> okay, dread is uh, going down. Awesome. Okay. Uh, it was not in the tutorial that, you know, giving different potions to someone is going to have the direct opposite effect, but I don't think that should be the tutorial either. This is a, you know, narrative game. You should experiment with all the different stuff. I really like it. Okay, I slipped in the sauna the other day and hit my head real hard. Got myself a splitting headache and I'm seeing some weird shadows everywhere too. Give me something for my pain. So I do think that's a nice healing elixir would, uh, you know, cure your head and uh, going to disappear those shadows, eerie. But uh, here we go. Drink it slowly, otherwise uh, you're getting addicted. I'm not sure why, but, you know, every witch says dearie or maybe old, uh, like, mm, you know, old ladies using herbs. And different types of magic saying Deary, but I imagine uh, our character is saying Deary every single time. Another local tragedy, a handsome man turned into a disfigured freak overnight. His wife left him, and no girl would spare a glance for the poor guy. His only solace now lies at the bottom of the bottle, oh boy. The air is crisp, the breeze brings the smell of fresh hay. A beautiful morning promises an equally pleasant day. That can happen when the weather's this fine, right? No, <laughs> I am pretty sure that something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Oh, look at this. Is this a, like, Inquisitor? Look at the badge. It looks like a sword and a lightning bolt together. Ooh, and, and the cross as well. Wow, that's really good. I know everything about you. I've seen lots of deep like you. Don't escape justice. You know it, as for now, make me some tea. Screw you. Uh, this is not good. Okay, the um, cat is um, having some problematic feelings about 
The good old Inquisitor, dude. Okay, so are we going... Ooh, untried. So, uh... Here, oh, here are the untried elixirs. And also, wait, we have some really nice... Uh, we like a lexicon or something like that. Serpents. Ooh, okay, we're going to read this. It's only the T. Uh, Portabella. Nice shade. So if I click it, yeah, it's also getting uh, highlighted. So, okay, Mr. Inquisitor. Here you go. Have a great day, I guess. You don't know anything about me. I uh, can't thank you enough for curing my headaches, although I'm still having visions and seeing uh, furtive shadows. Heard there is a forest berry that's very good for the eyes. Do we happen to have it? Hmm. So now, I guess we need the ingredients book, and let's just go to the berries. So. Urtica is not a berry, but uh, Belladonna is uh, definitely a berry. Long in the history of this elusive plant, ancients used it to speak with their gods, which means they poisoned their minds and bodies, falling to raves and hysteria. Us, being all modern and progressive, uh, perceive it has other uh, properties besides clouding one's senses. The juices where its powers are hidden, so the plant must be kept in the deep moist cellar and leaves should be picked by hand without using a blade. Else the potion will spoil, become like a pale worm and the nightshade's gift of uh, hiding among roots and trees will elude you. Awesome. Rattus, Mandragora, uh, Gram... 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 I guess this is how you pronounce it. Uh, I don't know, so Nightshade is the... So how am I going to, you know, f try it, fix it? Try to get it, so... Uh, these are the... Okay, so... Um, wait, 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 what this means? Leaf, uh, so mushroom type... Oh, okay, so mushroom, roots... Mm, looks like a uh, part, so like, not monster, but animal parts. And this one is the leaves. So, you know, let's go and uh, go with the untried. So, Mandrake. Um, Mandrake. Uh, something. Oh, so I can also choose a specific ingredient. And I can go through bit by bit. Okay, so let's go with this one. So, Mandrake and the... Um, what is this? The, um, the purple root. You know, we have to try some mandrake, this one, and the purple root, which is uh, nettle something. Uh, try again. Okay, visitor has some patience. It is displayed by blue circles in the upper part of the screen. Each circle represents one of your brooming attempts. When all of the circles are gone, the visitors will be gone too, so use your attempts wisely. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh boy, so, um, okay, let's, uh, let's see if uh, I can see what I brought. Add mesh that cap to little auction, the potage root, and stinging herb. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, so we do not have to make any, you know, like, notes, because the game helps us with this. A dish is, uh, this dish is a real thing, which is going to do, uh, no, 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 no. Not that. Uh, okay, let's go. Experiments. Let's go with the berries. Uh, but this one was the berry. Uh, so, so are we going to like experiment with this one? Oh, again. And thank you enough for blah blah blah. Although I'm still having visions and seeing furtive shadows. Heard there is a forest berry that's very good for the eyes. Do we happen to have it? So wait a second, I have the forest berry, but I cannot give, like, and I cannot give the same stuff more than once. Okay. Back to the experiments in Mandragora, and it, so wait a second, isn't it like, so it does matter uh, what is the first, what is the second, and what is the third ingredient? I'm not sure, by the way, but let's see. 
Screaming tea. <laughs> maybe not. It's maybe not good for the eyes. I'm not very um um how to put it. I'm not very experienced in the game, but I'm pretty sure that screaming tea is not that we are looking for. Well, um, I'm just going to give the dude something, and uh, we will see. So Barry, uh, no. So le let's uh, let's grab the Mandragora, in my opinion, and Barry, uh, this one and this one. Let's see. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm missing something, but I do think this is really funny to try. So how about kombucha? Ah, you know we know kombucha. It's a cool one. So go away. <laughs> Is it going to be a good one? I don't think. <laughs> it's cool. It's really good. Uh, I'm in need of healing. A tree fell the wrong way. I barely dodged it, but still got here. It's pretty he uh, so hit pretty bad. I think my ribs are cracked. Help! Of course, my friend. Of course, my friend. Healing potion. Cracked ribs are pretty dangerous, my friend. So, you know, just... Drink this, and everything should be great. Ooh, I'm maxed out. Now uh, you sense danger in the night. Your today visitor uh, in red proves to be the source. Villagers are talking quietly and drinking less. Even the animals try to step neatly. A night errand staying at the inn saw he saw a scarecrow roaming the fields at night, and he finally uh, untangled himself from the haystack. Uh, he was sleeping in, and donned his armor, the monster was long gone. Ooh, boy. So what is this? Are, are we getting killed? The blood reincarnations... The fire. You are the most famous witch for miles around. You couldn't stay drunk or on your new fame for too long, however. The church took notice and decided to put the end to this blasphemous abomination by ending your life. Okay, so we cannot get too famous either. Damn it. Okay, and these are the different ways of getting killed, I guess? Or these are different events that we can achieve? Well, guys... <laughs> life of a witch is pretty hard. Let's start again. Okay, so... Welcome back again. Looks like I like some instruments of the trade. Here's a new one. A manita, nettle leaf, and mandry rook. And don't forget to experiment. Okay. Manita? What is? I haven't heard this one. Toadstool? Batwing? Portabella? A manita? Uh, mandrake? And that was the uh, leaf. Nettle leaf. Which is, unlock your first potion. Voice changing elixir, yes! Awesome. Sounds really good. Okay, so don't forget to experiment. Pardon for bothering you. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. What magnificent smells comes out of this place? Can I get a taste of something? Oh boy. So we have five attempts. To help with the eyes. And I do remember that it's a sparkling and refreshing, probably sentient too. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything new? Perfect for pranks. Funny no one knows how long it will last. Okay. So, but I do, do remember that the, the first one said that the, you know, the berry is going to give you... Uh, it's going to help you with your eyes and we got a bunch of stuff so green tea untried so berry mushroom and bat wing bat has pretty cool you know like ways to uh, communicate so I would say oh wait you do not have the berry yeah, oh, oh it's here I am just uh, an idiot okay and uh, what was the last one and the mushroom. Okay, give it a mushroom. Well, this. Ooh. Pick me up potion. <laughs> well. Maybe not. <laughs> oh boy. But it has an eye. But I'm pretty sure the person is going to get pick, picked up. 
not the not their eyes are going to get better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eek me up, potion, no. Hey, that's really good. I guess I we tried this one. So how about uh berry rat and uh bat? This one is chameleon potion. <laughs> no. Oh wait a second. Chameleon has really pretty great eyes, but I'm pretty sure this is like a camouflage type of stuff, so no. Oh man, this game already made my day. That's really good. Okay, so uh, I don't know, experimenting. So, uh, rat, um, the googly-eyed mushroom, and this one. So, this one, googly-eyed, and uh, what about the rat? Ooh, okay, that looks... Uh, you proved nothing useful. Um, my dear lord, would you like to take uh, a nothing useful? Okay, so, uh, mushroom, another mushroom, and the, uh, you know, the uh, rat. Okay, it looks, looks promising. Hot stuff! <laughs> Come on, no. Try again. Okay. Last, last attempt. Last attempt. Uh, let's go and, you know, try this one. Two mushrooms and the, uh, hopefully, hopefully. Maybe. Triple decoction. No. Here you go, my friend. Hopefully you will have some. I'm an innkeeper. My inn is always full of guests. One thing bothers me. A fairy ring grew in the middle of my mushroom plot. All those disgusting toadstools and death caps. Got anything to destroy it? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do we have anything to do? Right. With well, the cockshan screaming tea. Uh, hot stuff. Uh, open in case of joy, sorrow, and plain boredom. Sparkling, refreshing, probably sentient. Universal conversation starter. Uh, the dish is a real thing. Oh boy. So, am I? Wait a second. So let's let's read. So the death cap and the toadstool. Uh, do we have like any fairy? Oh, here we go. Okay, legend says the vile toad mocked a fallen angel who turned her into a shroom as a punishment. Ever since it served witches in their evil deeds, but a true master of the crafts can make a numbing balm which can be useful both in dark uh, pursuits and medicine studies. For this you need to find a fairy ring of such mushrooms and take but a few of them, offering a gift of fine wine to the dancing fafers, as you risk losing fingers and toes to their teeth. Boil it whole while it's uh, fresh to dry and powder to store for later usage. Okay, but uh, to get rid of them. So you have to offer vine first. Can I make vine? Not anything to destroy it. So he wants to destroy it, not lure away the fairies. Hmm. Hot stuff. No. Mm hmm. Well, well, well. Oof. Oh. This is the toadstool. You know, should I? Let's let's check some some stuff with the toadstool. Maybe I'm going on a totally uh, bad direction, but this is the, you know, the main part of the game, experimenting. Past lifetimes. Oh, I can read the past lifetime stuff. Ah, okay. Here we go. Great one. Okay, so Toadstool, Mandragora, and the purple one. So, uh, Mandragora. Try adding the snake fang. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Sneak fang. Potion of numbness. Hmm. I don't know. You know, give it. Hopefully, uh, numb the numb those uh, pesky fairies. Or we will see. Here and there, your name comes up in the conversation of local people. You have had some, and it has not gone unnoticed. Don't get too comfortable with your newfound fame, though. It's not always a good thing. Yep. 
Unfortunately, we already um, experienced this. Ah! I was told you were making exquisite drinks here. I want to try something uh, unique. Something unique? Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the uh, yeah, screaming tea <laughs> is pretty unique. So, uh, or hot stuff. Hmm. But I don't like her, so screaming tea. Uh, we have to do it, so. Yes, yes, pretty exquisite. Here you go. Um, screaming tea. Oh, your potion was useless. The fairy ring is still there. Let's try something else before they start going on my body. Oh boy, that was a bad idea. So, so uh, our companion said the snake fang is a really good idea. So I'm just going to check out the experiments. Go to the snake fang and oh, oh okay. So uh, we got. Oh, we, uh, we have like three different uh, options to choose from and we have three attempts so it should be okay so sneak fang oh no 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 I, I oh boy no damn it damn it I got highlighted the other one as well oh okay I got high hopes okay never mind so sneak fang mandragora and this one I, that, that was what I let's see sap of enlightenment hmm no. I'm pretty sure a step of enlightenment will, uh, you know, uh, make those fairies go away. So how about Snake Fang, Mandragora, and the Berry? Mandragora and the Berry. Which is, you brew nothing useful. Oh boy. Snake Fang? Maybe I'm going on a totally wrong lead, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the cat said the Snake Fang when this man appeared first and uh, took too much time uh, thinking on stuff so you know snake fan mandragora and this one amnesia uh oh well okay but thanks to that the fame the fame measure is going down so okay kind of safe you're doing uh i'll come i i'll come i i've got a lot of uh, f freshest loads of freshest manure right here Let's make some gold, I provide the stuff, just do your magic. We will get rich in no time. What's with the sour face, eh? Give me some potion. I do it myself. Uh, he's strangling a chicken. <laughs> well, that's cool. So how about, oh, no, no potion of strength because uh, he's going to kill the, pure, the poor chicken. Uh, don't fear Van, you don't feel your arms and legs, no. Brown liquid smells delicious. You know, pick me a potion. Here you go, my friend. Uh, you're going to get picked up in no time. Give it a giveaway. Okay, nightfall. Under the veil of night, a shadowy figure slipped into your garden, leaving on your doorsteps a carefully wrapped package. Upon opening it, you discovered a fragment of scripture apparently belonging to the ancient YXBT order. Sure. Uh, long thought to be lost. Who could have entrusted this relic to you? What enigmatic mysteries lie concealed within its secret pages? Hmm. Mysterious package. Jan, the, Jean, the hunter, pleased to meet you. Uh, confide to me, O oh, Witch, have you met any infernal beasts in these lands? And provide me with some pictures I'm starving or riot those pictures um, I'm just going to give you like something to my friend how about drink twice to go wide and tries for white walkers uh, you know let's go with the dish Ho hopefully you are getting uh, pretty okay yeah, yeah blah, blah. But I haven't seen any infernal ones. Okay, the blacksmith keeps beating me up when he's drunk. I swear he's gonna murder me one of these days. Have me curse him, just make it not too deadly. I wouldn't want to kill him. Heard you could go to, go to hell for that. Yeah. Well, you know, I've got some uh, 
Dread were famed to take care of. So here you go, my friend. Curse your friend, and everything should be fine. Okay, so Dread is half, so maybe we shouldn't do stuff like that. What quaint little pop. If not for a friend of mine, I would never. What do you have on the tap? Hmm. What do, you, what do I have on tap? What do you have to tap? No, okay. No. What stuff? Often in case of joy, sorrow, or plain boredom. Here you go, my friend. The hot stuff. What about this one? Get away. Oh, yes. Okay, so nightfall. Hunter Jean stuff himself full of uh, and spend the entire evening praising your hospitality. And then he told the legend about the great Viking Jarl Quirson. Quirson, I guess. It was who uh, entrusted the uh, the YXBT order. Wait, what? XBT, where, where did I? No, that's the YXBT is not the you know the software testing stuff. It's kind of similar. Never mind. Order within a mysterious sculpture that should open the grotto where his rainbow drakkar ship was stationed. It seems your f uh, fragment is one of the three parts of that scripture. But who waits? Who's giving this to me? Wow, that's cool. Tonight, Eren staying at, uh, in the sword. He saw a scarecrow. Yes, and long gone. Okay. Well, the measure of uh, people's dread is increasing, so. Last night, I was passing water behind my barn and saw someone creeping in the field. This was my own scarecrow. Spooky, man. Should have burned it honestly, but then who will scare the crows? Put it to sleep, mayhap. Do you have any sleeping potions? Love potion. Chameleon. Um, no, not perfect. Funny. Okay, so let's... Uh, oops, why, why did I uh, do this? Uh, wait, if I have gold, can I buy stuff? No. Okay, let's hit up the ingredients and let's uh, you know find something that is going to induce sleep. Somehow less popular among commoners, a toadstool and uh, animit, uh, oh, amanitas, because one can do much more, more harm to his neighbors with the latter. Raised by our king's uh, high steward, whose grand feast uh, grant, uh, grant vigor and good spirits to the esteemed monarch, by his laughter is heard for miles around, served boiled, mashed or raw, this much is true for use in the potion making as well. Okay, so Amanita, the finest Amanitas can only be found on which nose? Nose only to a chosen few. This a solitary cape that stretches far into a cold sea. Yet somehow it's a meager soil, best fruit or should have say shrooms. And what fine specimen are those? They must be picked on the 10th day of Juno's month before the tide uh, swallows the narrow strip of land between the nose and the shore. Amanitas contain dreadful powers and can even make you soar on wings of spirit. Requires a gentle touch unless uh, one wants to end up with a face full of warts after drinking fly potion shed bitter tears. I really like the descriptions of those. It's really, you know, like and like accurate to the time and it has a really nice you know taste it's a pretty cool one so hellenic warlock uh, Ascl asclepius was the first to put snake fang to good use it can heal and it can kill such is the, uh, such is the dual nature of this fang to unlock its healing powers one should know the secret of draining the venom for the latter's main purpose is to guard the life force contained in the serpent bones, and the fang is where it's most potent. One needs to be careful when grinding the fangs and pour the bone powder into cauldron using a cold iron blade. So, a fool uh, battling in a potion making may think that wings make one fly. This leads to losing one's hair and the mind soon follows. Wise one knows, rubbing a creature with swing is a dark deed and only the evil potions can uh, so evil potions can they be used because of that. Okay, so now that we know that Batwing is not going to you know produce anything good. I mean you know the in sense of good. 
Let the fools with their heads in the clouds uh, bark like dogs and haul at the moon. Wise one will wait for the meat to ripen before uh, separating the wings and putting them to use. Okay. Urtica. Alchemist's brothers discover the nettle leaves and scrawled flesh and allow to see unseen. I, in turn, add its uh, devilry on my own skin. Believe me when I say nettles make, them make a mind of its own rule of evil. In mere touch almost made me go blind with pain. I came to my senses in the middle of a river, fully clothed as if I tried to drown myself. Further experiments on stray village children, oh boy, prove that indeed it does cause insanity. It leaves harbor dark thoughts um, of enslaving or killing the whole of humanity. Suffer not the nettles to live, burn and slash it whenever you go. Oh boy. Okay, Rattus. Revolting, revolting thought this ingredient, revolting dough, this ingredient uh, in appearance the usefulness cannot be overstated. It can make one nimble and sith like a rat as well as used for darker purposes. Quite easy to collect too, or you can summon rats easily by putting some rotting grains in your cellar. With luck you can even discover a miracle's being called a rat king which case a gather only half of it and uh, bury the rest in a hanged man's grave. Dry the tails and keep them until you need to inflict harm upon somebody. Ooh, boy. Like, you know, bury a uh, rat in a hangman's cave. Oh, grave. Uh, that's pretty brutal. Mandragora. In times of old, it was said one could make his voice strong and melodious by kissing Mandrake's mouth. These days, one can achieve a variety of effects by adding the juice in all sorts of decoctions. The root is worth its weight in gold, so don't bargain too hard when buying it. The weight, uh, uh, above all, remember to take great care when handling and uh, measuring it, as one who drinks your potion will covet his neighbor's wife and his neighbor too, and his neighbor's neighbor even. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, and the last one is the Gromania. Gift from Antique Nymphs. Uh, Serfs and uh, peasants use it to kitchen, uh, uh, taken their stew. Try to make beer from it too, but no one could stand the smell. Quite literally, the fumes alone causes unconsciousness. After some research and uh, concoction that cures insomnia was produced, the root can be found in uh, green fields and the best collected during a harvest moon, or just bought, uh, ho bought wholesale from peasants who are always in need of money. Dried or marinated roots keep their properties for a long time, so do not be afraid to stock it. So the thing is that this one cures insomnia, but we need something that takes someone into sleep, so... Uh, maybe we're going to be able to, you know, increase the, the amount of, uh, you know, knowledge about the ingredients. So what is going to put someone into sleep? <laughs> so well, this one is blinding. No, no, let's go with this one. Let's try this one once again. So, uh, mandrake, and uh, try add the rat's tail. Sure, here we go. And uh, koleidoscopic boobs. Uh, okay, let's wait. Uh, read what this does. Or maybe this one here. Mix your head spin along with everything else. <laughs> so, can we make, uh, you know, a scarecrow's hand, head to spin? I really like to try this. Maybe the notoriety is. Uh, uh, whoops. Was that the mandrake? Oops, maybe I. Uh, and we need this one. So how about giving kaleidoscopic stuff giveaway and uh, hopefully this one is going to help. I've grown too weak and frail in my old age. Can barely lift my hammer and pump the bellows these days. Help me get my strength back, which. But you're going to, you know, hit the farmer boy. 
you're getting your strength back, but you know, how can I say no? Mana, mana. Ooh, this is a vampire. My name is Michael the Vampire. I'm so, I'm so ancient that my life has lost all these colors. Have me feel alive again. Yes, I've been so bored that one day I could see the sun. Oh man. How, how can I how can I say no? So become one with the vole. Uh but we don't feel your arms and legs. But that was the What wait a second, what was it? Uh oh the colors. There was something about colors, if I remember. Joy, sorrow, boredom. You know, hot stuff. Why not? He said boredom. Here we go. Maybe my dread is going to be pleasant. No, okay. So maybe we can, you know, last longer. A local farmer burnt his old scarecrow for no apparent reason. Some people noticed human bones in the ashes, and the rumors soon reached the Inquisition. Nothing come out of it, though. The crowds sure do look happy, and you cannot help but feel you've missed something important. Uh, yeah. Surprisingly, the vampire got drunk and told the sad story of his life. How he had a friend who swore to experiment vampires when Michael turned undead. How a long time ago Michael stole from the IXP order a fragment of a scripture which was the key to the mysterious grotto of the Viking Yard queer son. You have another such fragment. If only you could find the third part of the scripture, you would be able to save Michael. Hmm. The harvest was bountiful, with grain and meat, its prices rising higher than ever. And now the rumor goes that the royal tax collector is already in a hurry to visit the local peasants before they waste their riches on royalties, like new clothes or metal tools. Oh boy. So I'm pretty sure that the tax uh, people are going to come to visit me. I feel that my nemesis has paid you a visit. No doubt he will return. Allow me to set up an ambush in the woodshed uh, and aid me with a potion. Oh boy. But I don't want... No. No. So how about love, po <laughs> love potion? Here you go, my friend. You can ambush him. Of course. I'm here to collect taxes. The locals are cunning lot in prefer to hide their riches. Help me shake them down and I'll cut you in. No. Oh. So uh, your decision will be noted and evaluated. You know what, Mr. Tax Paying Man? How about a voice changing elixir? <laughs> Maybe you are going to get um, interesting. <laughs> You know, results. Where do you help the smith get his strength back? Why the hell would you do that? Now he trashes me on the regular again. Now you must make me as tough as he is, so I will have a fighting chance. Okay, my friend. I really like even ground, so... Here we go. Hopefully you will have maybe high ground as well. Go oh, and... Uh him to like beats or whatever shreds okay the tax collector arrived his funny voice gathered crowds of fascinated onlookers some even threw coins at him great one of these peasants killed them damn it one of these peasants killed the blacksmith in a tavern brawl he sorry didn't want uh, want to do and didn't know his own strength, but the uh, others tied him up and delivered him to the authorities. <laughs> well, well, well. Someone left a present at the door. Uh, the note says, your help was most satisfactory. It seems the past is catching up with you. Okay, interesting stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, ooh, a guard or a knight. This land is ripe with monsters of all kind. Guess I have my work cut out for me. Starting with that scarecrow, now give me something to help in battle. Glory of eight. If you say so, my friend. Well, everybody's really eager to fight. I don't understand. and want to live a little bit long. My dearies, but... I get stuff, though. That was quite a party. Let's drink... Another bottle of uh, a uh, blightsome poison. 
only serves something truly magical this time. Be magical this time, okay. Enlighten your uh, uh, intestines. Make your head spin along with everything. You sap of enlightenment. Here we go, my friend. That's truly magical, in my opinion. So, here we go. I really like the, this one. Ooh, our daddy died recently. He was a... Damn it. He was a smith. Maybe you knew him. Anyways, we are sure his old friends poisoned him. He was jealous and harbored crutches. We want revenge. <laughs> so are we going to poison the, uh, the farmhand? Of course we are going to poison the farmhand. How can I say no to children? Give away. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That's a little cool. Uh, he's not even agreeing. Uh, keeps bothering uh, he, the peasants asking whether they saw any vagrant scarecrows. Taunts and ridicule don't wear he is a steadfast conviction. People call him Sir Buffoon and predict he will make a fine king's guard one day. Here and there, your name comes up in the conversations of local people. You have helped some, it has not gone unnoticed. Don't get too comfortable with your newfound fame, though. It's not always a good thing. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Hey, a sorceress. I drank too much the other day and made a bet that I will wrestle a bear with my bare hands. <laughs> One of my favorite bands of all times. I've wrestled a bear once. Really nice, sir. Uh, you know, homage, even if it's not uh, by, you know, design. And I am man of my word, damn it. Now, all I need is something to make me stronger or more brave at, love, at least. Okay, ah, uh, you know what? Portion of strength. Go, my friend, wrestle the bear, and uh, I don't know. We will see. Oh, I was told you were making exquisite drinks here. I want to try something unique. But you already tried something unique. Uh, how about... Uh, you know the call? No. Let's go and... Uh, how many? Okay, we have three attempts. I'm just going to experiment. And I'm just going to experiment blindly. Let's go with uh, all the mushrooms. Whoops. Mushroom soup. Oh, nice one. But this is not a drink. And not exquisite. Let's go with all the animals. Oops. Meat. Okay, try again. And now uh, you will get some... Ba -ba 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 triple decoction. I think... Okay. Oh, oh wait. Uh, forgot to click on it. Triple decoction. So mushroom, mushroom, and something like that. And how about this one? The thing is going down. I am the famous artist lately... The joy of uh, creation just hasn't been there anymore. As if life and beauty simply vanish from my paintings. Maybe there's something I can mix with my paints to make them better. Hmm. Can you? Sparkling and refreshing. Probably sentient too. Maybe sparkling and refreshing. How about some kombucha to your uh, paints? Maybe that was a bad idea. Who knows? Okay, let's see. You've heard peasants talking about an unusually strong man, the one who came back from the forest carrying a band torn in half. Quite unusual, as he had never shown such feats of strength before. Great. Heavy wind rips the, the leaden clouds apart, flashes of lightning shatter the sky, and yet the thunder never comes. Nights like this brings nightmares, oh boy. Okay. Question, can we save? Yes, we can resume. Awesome. So, I do think that uh, it's like 55 minutes. Uh, it's going to be a really nice amount of gameplay time for the first video of Let's Try, which is Cauldron. The thing is, the game is extremely awesome. I'm pretty sure that you um, heard that I'm laughing, you know, out of my heart. And it was extremely cool. I really like the atmosphere, really like the, you know, the mechanics of the game all the cool uh, things that you can, you know, do the balance between uh, dread and, uh, you know, the fortune and also getting famous. And I really like the consequences of, you know, for example, giving 
strength potion to the farmhand so he can fight with the you know the blacksmith and then the blacksmith loses its uh, strength giving strength to him he beats up the farmhand once again and giving potion to the farmhand ended up you know he killed the blacksmith so it's a really nice uh you know causation stuff i really like that that you just cannot you know mix concoctions because otherwise you're getting killed really easily um you know all the atmosphere all the the models are really cool i really like it. it's pretty unique not re as i mentioned not extremely good looking but it's really unique and has its own flavor and the good thing is the game came out today and it cost three dollars by default but now it's on sale so it was like two two fifteen or something what do you get for 250 nowadays? Not even a single meal. So I cannot recommend The Witch's Cauldron more. So if you like narrative stuff, roguelike stuff, all the cool, you know, like reading, gathering information, experimenting witches, medieval times, and cool indie games, please buy The Witch's Cauldron, support the dev or the dev team because it is a truly amazing game and we are going to blast more on the channel thank you very much for joining click all the great buttons on the screen and i see you really soon with more indie